the chocolate out the sweetness very well. Part. But when you say cookie, I'm expecting a cookie. We have a lot of pizza. Whereas this does feel a little more like a biscuit. It is a little dense. Yes. I would have used yes, a baking powder so the cookie was much more cookie-like. And any a little more sugar because I wanted to be left with a little more sweet. All right, who has won it? We will answer that question shortly. Thanks. Oh no! I'm really nervous because my whole family is watching. I've wanted to do this for a long time. But I got through it and I think I put out a dessert that I was proud of. Good luck. <laughs> so, judges, appetizer round for dessert, all counts now. Personally, I thought the, the young chefs really excelled. I mean, look at the first course. Emily's burrito was probably the most professional, and there's a definite attention to detail. What I would have liked to have seen was some cheese, just to make it more overly and satisfying. It's true. That's a little hard to kind of get over. Now, Kobina from the very beginning was very confident and consistent with his flavors. And he made that little salty okay. chutney that you enjoyed and I thought yeah. was a little over the top. Cabana's Entre, even though the scallops could have been served better, they had better flavor. I felt like it made sense to put the curry with the toasted coconut. I really enjoyed it. Emily's fish was amazing. I thought it was the best scallops we, we had. They were, they were caramelized, they were beautiful. And she also pureed the watercress. That mm. was wildly creative. What really hurt Emily was the lack of a sauce. It was a dry, cold pasta salad with okay, great scallops on top. I was impressed with Emily's technique, and I always felt okay, that Cabena's food had yep. flavor. And that's what makes this decision so difficult. But one of these competitors is going to walk out with a win. All right, let's break the news. so close to being the Chomp Junior Champion and I put so much oh, effort no. into every round. I really hope that I did better. I know I'm gonna win. I've cooked so great today. I've worked so hard. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? No, thank you. Emily, you've been Judges. Emily, it has been amazing to see you cook here in the kitchen today. You are going to go very far, but in the entree round, you Jake, presented off the ice. pasta that was dry and lacked seasoning. Then on to the dessert round, it wasn't really executed properly as a cookie. So for those reasons, we had to chop you. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Be well. I'm a little um, upset that I didn't win, but I'm just like so grateful for this opportunity no matter what. And that means, Covena say, that you are the Chopped Junior Champion. Congratulations. We will see more of you, I'm sure. I hope so. I just won Chopped Junior. I can't believe it. It feels great. Why don't these be mixer? This is one of the best pastas I've ever had. It is very professional. <laughs> Which cutting stars will walk away with a $10,000 prize? Is who will be chopped? Let's welcome a new group of adorably ambitious chopped junior competitors, all of them 12 years old. First, here's Elizabeth Oaks. When I'm cooking in the kitchen, I'm just happy. I get a great feeling of pride. Like, wow, I just made that. I can be the next Chop Junior Champion because I am the most creative kid chef there ever was. Next up, we welcome Micah Freeman. Mm. Let's do this. I learned how to cook from my grandma. She's mm -hmm. a really great cook. Mm -hmm. Family is very important to me because without them, you'd be like lost. I love that sound. 
Instead of cooking is comfort food. Mm. You could just eat comfort food in bed, eat alone, or with a thousand people, and it'll still taste good no matter what. Why well, don't you cook? And I cook winners. And then there's Tatiana Chikorilla. Let's get down to business. I've been cooking ever since I can remember. I really like to cook with my family. I have three younger siblings and a working, cranky, hungry mom and dad. Don't tell me I said that. <laughs> my 11-year-old brother is One, autistic. Two, three, so cooking one, is a great way for us to bond. I've had a lot of experience. I love the competition. Bye. 